Hello, welcome back to my channel, Nurse Notes with Ken's Wheels, a platform where I bring to you essential health tips and my experience as a nurse here in Germany. If this is your first time coming across this video, you are highly welcome. And please support your girl by subscribing. And why not share? Because there was a lot to be said. <laughs> and to my old subscribers, your girl is grateful. Thank you so much for supporting me. I promise you will not regret. In today's video, I'll be talking about nursing in Germany. But before we dive in, I want us to understand what nursing is all about. Nursing has a lot of definitions by different authors, but they all sum up to a general aim, which is to promote health, to prevent illness, to care for the sick, and to help our patients and clients cope with their disabilities and terminal illness. Let me talk about our mother of nursing, the founder of modern nursing, Florence Nightingale. This glorious lady was born in Italy on the 12th of May 1820. The reason why we celebrate nursing day every 12th of May. Mm -hmm. And she was known as the lady with the lamp. Trust me, that's a story for another day. According to Florence Nightingale, nursing is an act of utilizing the patient or client's environment so as to help him or her get recovery. That's simple. And that's why I love it. I love simple things. <laughs> and it makes more sense. We combine it with the aim which is to promote health, as I earlier said, and now not just promoting health, considering the environment to get your end goal. Now that we know what nursing is or what the aim of nursing is, what is the role of a nurse? Nursing is a noble profession and I love being a nurse, but what is the role of a nurse or what is expected from nurses? First, a nurse is a caregiver. That's what we do. We care for others. A nurse is a caregiver. A nurse is an advocate. We advocate for our clients. We are the channel between the doctor and the client. If you get what that means. A nurse is a communicator. You need to know how to communicate in order to help because at times the way you communicate to your clients and patients will determine when they can recover for whatever they are going through. You get it. So a nurse is not only a communicator, a nurse is a counselor, a nurse is an advisor, a nurse is a teacher. Yeah, for example. As Ella said, a nurse is a researcher. I have researched and here am I teaching you, my audience, my beautiful community. And not only am I teaching you, it's a nurse gets the knowledge from her research to teach and advise her clients on how to obtain maximum health, on how to live a healthy life, on how to prevent illness, on how to there's a lot. A nurse has a lot of roles. That is why a nurse needs to be passionate about what she does. If a nurse has no passion in rendering the, the care she needs to render, trust me, with the challenges that come with this profession, you will easily burn out. Now that you know what the role of a nurse is, or what is expected of nurses, and what nursing is all about, let's dive in to nursing in Germany. Here in Germany, nurses are of high demand based on uh, the increasing aging population here in Germany. There are a lot of elderly clients that need our help in the hospital, in nursing homes, communities, a lot. It is very, very easy to become a nurse in Germany once you meet the basic 
requirements. If you want to know all about these requirements on how to become a nurse in Germany, make sure you subscribe because there is another video on that topic loading. So subscribe so that when I upload this video, you won't be left out. You get the you know the first hand information. <laughs> okay, let's ride on. In Germany, there are two pathways to become a nurse. You either pursue a degree in a university or you go through a vocational training. So in this video, I would like to highlight the differences between these two pathways so as to help you make the right choice or to ease the choice of pathway you would like to take or which pathway might be easy or will best suit your preference. Vocational training in Germany is generally what they call Ausbildung, otherwise known as apprenticeship. So that's what vocational training is. It is Ausbildung. Now I'll be talking about these differences based on the requirements, based on um, the duration, based on the acquired qualification based on focus that is how the training is like the curriculum yeah you get it and for feed am i counting well yes <laughs> feed based on the fees so now requirements to study in the university you usually need to have um, a higher educational entrance qualification known as habitual or an equivalent international qualification for example general certificate of education advanced level another requirement is the language proficiency which is mostly demonstrated through tests known as DSH DSH is simply the language certificate required by universities here in Germany now duration in an university the duration is mostly three to four years but there are exceptions for example if you first of all go to a vocational training which is three years and after you choose to pursue another degree in the university uh, you might have to do maybe a minim minimum number of semesters and for vocational training it's basically three years it depends though in cases where you are from another country and you migrate to study nursing here in Germany based on your qualifications for example if you have a degree in nursing from your home country you need to legalize it here in Germany and they need to do what they call anerkennung. Anerkennung is simply trying to get an equivalence of your certificate to the standards here in Germany. So based on the equivalence, you might be expected to study maybe for just a year or two or in cases when the equivalence matches the standards here in Germany, you might be expected to do maybe just six months, six to one here, just to you know familiarize yourself on how things are being done in the German hospital. During the process of anekeno to lower your years of study, you need to learn the language alongside. Now about the acquired qualification. It's simple, <laughs> it's clear. When you pursue the university pathway, you end up with a degree in nursing. And when you pursue the vocational training pathway, you end up with what is known as Pflegefachfrau or Pflegefachmann. That's equivalent to a state registered nurse. That's it. So how is it like, what's the focus? In a university, the focus is more on critical thinking, evidence-based practice, leadership skills, research. 
yeah you might do internships or practicals but it's minimal because let's say it's like 80 20 80 percent is built on the theoretical aspect of nursing and the 20 percent might be the practical aspect so it's the actual how can i say it? like it's like they build you more to get um to attain responsibility skills to go in hospital yeah to get leadership skills so that you can go for posts like administration vocational training programs prioritize practical skills and direct patient care it's like let's say 50 50 that is 50 percent theoretical knowledge and 50 percent practical that is you go to school at the same time you are working if you have like the theoretical block they might teach you like three topics or maybe the basics nursing hygiene uh, vital signs checkup those things you now go now to the practical block where you get to put the theoretical knowledge into practicals so that's how our video works it's like you know you do two in one school hospital school hospital that is why you say you work and you study at the same time a tip i would like to tell you is here in germany those who undergo the vocational training pathway have a higher chance to get jobs in hospitals that is so because they put more relevance to nurses who have higher practical skills than the theoretical skills there is actually not no big difference in the german hospital between a degree holder nurse and a registered nurse we all do the same activities and the salary is basically the same except the degree holder is not working as a nurse but is actually uh, having an administrative post and once you have whether you have the the state registered nursing here in germany you can work in other countries you can work it is recognized in almost all european countries you can work in switzerland you can work in netherlands you can work in france a lot now let's talk about the fees nursing in germany it's actually free to be honest it's free but if you're pursuing the university pathway you will have to pay semester fees which might vary depending on your states or universities but for vocational training you don't pay a dime you instead get allowance that will help you along your learning experience so those are the differences between our hospital and university study i hope this was helpful and i hope this will help you make the right choice and right decision to pursue your career your career in nursing if this video was helpful do not forget to give me a thumbs up and if you do have questions make sure you drop it down in the comment section and if you have some things to add you know to my colleagues who are also here in germany who has a lot of knowledge as i said this is a community we are all here to learn from each other please drop it down in the comment section so that those who have questions can ask and if i don't have the answers because i do not know all my other learned colleagues can also help answer this in the comments so this channel is an interactive channel where we learn from each other so if you have any questions you drop it down and if you have answers to some ask questions please drop it down and let's learn i'll also be learning from the comment section in my next video i'll be talking about the requirements that is how to become a nurse in germany following the vocational part so stick around like subscribe click that bell so when i upload this video you won't be left out thank you for staying till the end of this video i hope you learned and i hope you come again don't just come and go go come and come again <laughs> i'm so so happy i'm really so happy that i'm able to put out this knowledge because by empowering you all i'm empowering myself because before i make these videos i need to read i need to research i need to ask questions from my learned colleagues in the hospitals i need to ask questions to make sure i bring first-hand information out here thank you for watching and i hope to see you in the next video stay tuned